What the Tech is sponsored by EPB Fiber Optics. Experience recklessly fast, consistently reliable internet speeds on Chattanooga's only 100% fiber optic network. Learn more at epb.com. Google has reversed a decision to allow certain types of cookies from following your every move on the internet. Our consumer technology reporter Jamie Tucker explains what Google's decision will mean and which computer browser is the safest. We all know Google tracks our movements online using the Chrome browser, Gmail, and YouTube using something called cookies. Now, about four years ago, Google said it's doing away with third-party cookies, but this week, reverse course saying they're here to stay. Now, cookies are trackers placed on your smartphone, tablet, or computer to identify your device and how you use it. First-party cookies are only from websites you visit. Third-party cookies, though, are from websites you may not have gone to before. They can gather data on your location, web activity, products you're interested in, and the device you use, and then send you ads based on those things. Now, Firefox and Safari have blocked third-party cookies, and Google said it would by the end of the year, but now it says it will continue to allow them. In hopes to get people to switch to its Safari browser, Apple has introduced a new creepy ad campaign illustrating how Chrome tracks what you're doing online. Now, companies are required by law to get your permission to allow third-party cookies. You've no doubt seen these pop-ups. You can opt out, but you'll need to do that anytime you visit a new website. Another option is to switch browsers. For iPhone and Mac users, Safari blocks third-party cookies. Firefox is another option. This browser works on all phones and computers, blocks third-party cookies by default, and prevents websites from sharing your information with another website. We're all creatures of habit, and it's tough to switch things like email and browsers and search engines. But if privacy is important to you, Google's decision to continue allowing these third-party cookies might be reason enough to browse differently. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.